Hey guys, it's Kelsey, and today's video is going to be how I'm getting clear skin for back to school because I start school on September 4th. I know some people have already started, um, but I don't start till the 4th, and I just really, really want my skin to be like really nice. So I'm going to show you my skincare routine for like what I use, and my skin's actually like it's pretty clear right now. I just have like a couple spots of acne, but that's kind of like under control a little bit. But yeah, if you want to know what I use for skincare, let's get started. Okay, so before I start this video, I'm going to tell you about my like skin type and everything, just so you know, just so if you have the same skin type as me, that these products work for you. So I have very oily, acne-prone teenage skin, and it's not the funnest skin type to have because like I have to blot my face constantly, and it's just not fun, but these products have really helped my acne get under control. But I still get oily throughout the day, which is kind of annoying. So that's just my skin type. And now we'll get on to the products I use. Okay, so I wash my face morning and night. And my morning face wash is the Zappi Acne Medication Facial Wash. It just looks like this. It's like a yellowy clear color. And it's a really good face wash. And I really like this. It just cleanses my skin really, really gently. And it's not too harsh or anything, so I really like this cleanser. And it feels like really, really cool on your skin, so I like this. And then once a week in the shower, in the morning, I like to exfoliate my skin and just, you know, get rid of that top layer of dead skin cells. So the one I use is my Clean and Clear Morning Burst Shine Control Facial Scrub. Just looks like this. I really like the packaging on this, and if you guys are wondering, my nails are Glitter in the Air by Deborah Lippman. And this is an amazing facial scrub. It's not too harsh or anything. It just really gently exfoliates and gets that top layer of dead skin off really good. And this really does help with um, shine control. I find that like I don't have to go blot my face for an extra like two hours when I use this. So this is an amazing exfoliator and I definitely recommend it if you have oily or shiny skin like I do. And then after my face wash I like to follow up with a um, astringent or toner whatever you call it. I use step two in the Zapit system. This is the deep cleaning astringent. Just looks like this. It's just a white clear liquid. And this product is amazing. I've been using it for years and it really just digs into your skin and gets all of the acne out. It is amazing. If you need an astringent, I recommend this one. I also really like the Clean and Clear, clean and clear one. Um, I'm getting so tongue-tied today. Um, I recommend the Clean and Clear one, and but this one's just so much better. Um, it really is amazing. And this has salicylic, salicylic acid and melaleuca oil in it. So I really like this. And then in the morning, I don't moisturize. I moisturize at nighttime. In the morning, I use a spot treatment if I have like any active acne or breakouts and the one I use is step three in the Zabbit system. This is the acne treatment. It just looks like this. It comes in a white tube and it comes out as like a white kind of like lotiony gel and this is awesome. It really helps like dry out the acne pimple and it doesn't leave like your skin with like a scab or anything. It just really helps with acne and it's a really really good um spot treatment. I used to use this as an all over moisturizer but I find that using it as an acne spot treatment is so much better. So if you need a spot treatment I recommend this one or the Lush Grease Lightning. I heard that one is really really good too. Okay so now moving on to my nighttime skincare. I use a couple di more different products for nighttime skincare than during the daytime. So let's move on to that. Okay so before I even go into cleansing my skin I make sure I have all my makeup off. I use the Kirkland brand facial wipes, the ones you can get at Costco. They just look like this. They come in like a green little plastic container. And these are actually like really good facial wipes. I didn't expect them to be that good because they're like Costco brand and no one really talks about these. These are actually like really, really good. I really like these and they also smell really good. They just smell like really fresh, kind of like baby oil. It smells really good, but these are amazing. And they're only like 10 to 11 dollars at Costco and they come with like 150 of these. Um, they come with um, four of the 30s and then two travel 15 ones. So 
those are really good for traveling and I just like those. Okay, and then I use a different um, facial wash for nighttime. I use the Sabella Refining Facial Cleanser for a normal to oily skin. Just looks like this. It's like another yellowish kind of liquidy. And this again is an awesome facial cleanser. It's kind of like the Zappit one but for more like matured skin. And I love this cleanser. I've been using it for a long time and it's awesome. Um, this is probably like my third bottle of it. And I really, really like it. It's a really good and effective cleanser. And then after that, I go again with my astringent again. This is the same one I just showed. It's the Zap It Deep Cleansing Astringent. I don't need to talk about this again because I just talked about it briefly earlier. So I don't need to talk about this again, but it is an amazing astringent. And then I use a moisturizer at night. This is, technically isn't a moisturizer, but it does moisturize my skin really well. This is the Sabella Timeless Age Defying Serum. It just looks like this, and then when you actually like pump it out, it's like a yellowy, like kind of like lotiony, runny type texture. And this is such an amazing product. If you guys have not tried this, it's awesome. It's a really, really light moisturizer because I can't use a heavy moisturizer for my skin or else my skin will break out. I used the Hope in a Jar before by Philosophy. And that made my skin like so red and so irritated and it broke out so I was just like okay I cannot use this product anymore. Um, I managed to use it up and I'm not going to repurchase it anymore. I just really like this. It's light and it's a really good moisturizer. It just gives my skin enough moisture and it's awesome. So I definitely recommend this moisturizer. And about once a week during the night I like to use a facial mask just to kind of like do some extra work on my skin. The one I use is the Queen Helene Mint Julep Mask. This is really, really inexpensive at a drugstore. And in Canada, I know you can get it at Sally's. That's the only place I've seen it. And the packaging just looks like this. And it actually is like an old school green face mask. And this mask does what it says on it. It says that it helps dry up acne pimples, rinse away blackheads, and shrink in large pores. This is an awesome acne mask for skin like I have, like teenaged, oily, acne prone skin. And it's awesome. So if you have not tried this, go get it. Um, it's like $3 for like 8 ounces of this. So that's a really, really good price. You cannot get a better face mask than this. Okay, so that is everything that I use on my skincare. I hope you guys like this skincare routine video. And if you have a skincare routine that works for you, comment down below or leave a video response. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye.